We know what life on Earth is all about, but what about life on Mars? Yeah, NASA has described the two planets as siblings, different, but not dissimilar. Our next guest could compare them firsthand. Yeah, Lulu A. Ferdos is a UNO grad and Mars One astronaut candidate. Good to Hi, see you, Lulu. Hi, Lulu. It's nice yeah, to meet you. This morning. Same There's too. a good chance you might be going to Mars. <laughs> <laughs> is that a scary thought? No, no, actually it's something I'm really excited about and I hope I get selected for the first four to set their footprints on Mars. Yeah, that's well, awesome. Why did you apply for this mission? Well, first of all, uh, when I was six, I wanted to be an Air Force pilot. And by the time I was 10, uh, growing back in Bangladesh, I wanted to become the first woman in my country to break the sound barrier. However, when I applied to the Air Force Academy in Bangladesh, uh, I was not allowed to sit for the application exam because I'm a female citizen. So I worked and saved up, came here. However, there was always a, a citizenship or residency barrier. In 2013, in April, a Mars One, a nonprofit organization, mm -hmm. opened up this uh, astronaut application all over the world. And I uh, made sure there were no uh, gender barrier or citizenship barriers. And I applied. And mm -hmm. out of 200,000, uh, they selected uh, 1,058 for the second round. Yeah. Wow. So and you made that cut. Mm -hmm. Right. There, so you, you're one of about a little over 1,000 people. Uh, what's the concept of Mars One? How's this going to work? Because there's a timeline, I think. Uh, you'll find out more in April, but mm -hmm. the first person is not going to go up until, what, uh, 2025? 2025, yeah. because the first uh, transit will be leaving Earth on 2024. But prior to that, by this year, uh, around April, we will be notified. We will have an um, interview with the Mars One Selection Committee, mm -hmm. and there will be round three, which is a regional competition, and round four, which will be international competition. What are they looking for in, in candidates? Do you know what type of experience, education, diversity in terms of nationality, gender, all of that? Uh, the concept behind Mars One is to put the first humans in 2025 uh, out of a selection of anyone from all over the world, provided they have five criteria, which is uh, creativity, a sense of humor, <laughs> resourcefulness, resiliency, adaptability, and ability to get along with one another. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah. that's critical. Okay. Um, Definitely. If you get selected, how would you train to go to Mars? Because there's this quite this lengthy training process. Mm -hmm. It will be an eight-year training, and uh, from starting from 2015 up to 2024. And out of this training, there will be six to ten groups of four people, and everyone will be put in different group settings. And Mars One has the right to choose or pick or eliminate any group depending on their selection. Mm -hmm. And uh, it will be based mar partially on public vote and some of the voting rights. Uh, Mars One has some of the voting rights. What does it take to set up a permanent human settlement? And we're taking a look at some of the, the, yes. re the renderings right here. Right. So what, go what goes into it? In 2018, they'll be sending a satellite mm -hmm. and a rover. Uh, the satellite will be sent to the synchronous orbit in Mars. And in the next couple of years, they'll be sending in more uh, rovers. And by 2024, the first human uh, transit will be sent yeah. to Mars. How many, how many months does it take to get from Earth to Mars? It, it depends on the relative location of Mars to Earth. It could be anything between uh, seven to eight months. So in those seven to eight months, the first group Com uh, comprised of two men and two women mm -hmm. will be living in the transit vehicle. And uh, in case of solar shower, there is a little compartment where they, they might have to uh, stay for a several, several days. Lulu, it's going to be quite compact. Um, this is a one-way trip, mm -hmm. right? You go, you don't come back. Uh, no. Uh -huh. What does your family think about this potential that you could go to Mars and they would never see you again? I think over time they have come to over time, they have come to respect the fact that I do want to do something exceptional. And if this comes along, I'm hoping it does, they will be happy for me eventually. Uh -huh. They're <laughs> still reluctant. Well, I think they need to get used to it. I mean, they will be getting used to it because uh, it still hasn't hit them to what extent it will be. And do you have any personal dreams? I mean, I don't know about your life, whether you're married or you have kids, but are, is any no. of that in the cards for you? I'm single, I don't have any children, and I plan to uh, pursue my dream of being an astronaut. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but life on Mars is a little bit different than on Earth too, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. uh, the oxygen uh, is different. You can't breathe on the planet uh, Mars, can you? When we are in the uh, outpost, 
inside, indoors, it will be more comfortable. We will be able to take showers, and we will be growing our own greenery, food, and there will be living quarters. So there will be about 50 square meter of space per person and a 200 square uh, meter of uh, living space. But once we are outside mm -hmm. the outpost, we have to wear the Mars suit yeah. because uh, in order to keep us safe from radiation as well as the atmosphere being very light because the air is about the same uh, as it is in the 25 uh, as it is in 25 uh, kilometers away from the earth's surface earth atmosphere it's too light yeah. so your next interview or you'll find out something next month yeah by april they will let they will let us know how mm -hmm. they will conduct the interview so every uh, candidate for round 2 yeah. has a chance to have an interview with the selection committee who pays for all this and and, 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 and you get paid to do the training uh, once we are selected for the first groups, uh, there will be six to ten groups. The different fundraiser that has already been in place mm -hmm. will be funding that. Uh, these people get selected as the Mars One Astronaut Corps. Well, keep, keep us, us posted. posted. Yeah, <laughs> let us know in <laughs> April. Thank you. Thank stuff. you very much. Mars-one.com to learn more about the mission. Again, Lulu, thank you. Lulu, thank, thank you very much. Good luck. Um, we'll talk to you soon. If you'd like to see the PVR for free, register to win tickets from us, and that could happen. Sign up prior to 2 p.m. today. And if you don't win, try again tomorrow. Find more information and rules online at omahamorningblend.com. If she gets selected, I just hope she can take you with her. <laughs> take you with her to Mars. Right now is the time to sell diamonds, thanks to a bonus from Sol. Uh, how to get cash for the sale and cash for a referral when we bling it on after the break. Could you take her? <laughs>